Hey everyone, uh, Andy here. I'm the William Grant's brand ambassador for the UE and Oman, uh, working at Path Bar School. So today, folks, we're going to be looking at a couple of techniques. The first will be preparing um, fresh produce for use, such as mint and cucumber, two products which are heavy in chlorophyll. Um, and then the second technique, we'll be using a fine straining technique, just to show you how to remove the little bits of the fresh produce from your cocktail. So the cocktail we're going to be using for today, as a demonstration, will be the East Side Cocktail, which is a modern riff on the classic South Side Cocktail. So for this, we have Hendrix Gin, we have some fresh mint, we have some cucumber, we have some sugar syrup, and some freshly pressed lime juice. So as, um, as this mint we have here has started to wilt already, it was only bought a couple of hours ago, but mint does tend to sort of break down very, very quickly. Um, for this, we need to sort of uh, prepare the mint. So we grab our beautiful bunches of mint, uh, then we pop them into a bath of uh, wa water. We then add some crushed ice in there as well. We'll give that a little stir around, just to reduce the temperature as quickly as possible. And then we basically just chuck the mint in there. So when you add the mint to the ice bath, you're gonna reduce the temperature down, you're gonna shock the mint back to being crisp and fresh again. So now we've got the mint, it'll be back to a nice crisp freshness. Uh, we need to prepare the vessel to hold the mint in afterwards. So just grab your paper towel, fold up, and just want to line the bottom uh, of a nice Tupperware container. Um, chuck some crushed ice in there as well, just to get it a little bit damp and to keep it nice and cold. And then we have to grab the mint. So just pull the leaves off one by one, and then keep the top part, there's a nice um, sprig for your garnish. So just snap it off, and at the end of that, you just want to cut it diagonally, um, which will preserve it a lot better. And now we've prepared the mint, guys, we need to go ahead and prepare the cucumbers. So because cucumber skins are quite high in chlorophyll, they're gonna be quite bitter, so you want to remove the bitterness from, from the cucumber just by, by simply peeling the cucumber. So grab a peeler and just take all the sort of thin outer layer off the cucumber. So now we've prepared the, the mint for the, for the drink, I've prepared the cucumber for the drink, we're ready to actually get stuck in and make the cocktail. So as every good bartender will tell you, before you make your drink, you've got to prepare the garnish. So for this drink, we're gonna use a nice, beautiful mint spray garnish. Um, we're gonna balance on the rim, so we're gonna use a bamboo skewer for that. So just grab the skewer, slightly part it, and then pop the sprig down there, like so. Then we'll just pop that aside and to be used later on. Uh, we also have to prepare the glass for the cocktail. So we just uh, grab our, our beautiful cupette, um, add some crushed ice into there, and just set it aside. I would chill the glass down, so there's not too much temperature variance between the cocktail and the glass, so it stays cooler for longer. Um, so now we're ready to, to crack home and making the cocktail. So with a drink like this, you want to muddle up your um, fruits or vegetables first. So we just grab our cucumber into our hand, pop it in, Grab our lovely muddler. Give it a good old muddle down there. Always give your muddler a rinse at the end of it. Life advice. Then with this, we start with our cheapest ingredients first. So we've got our freshly pressed lime juice. So we use 30 ml of this. Then half again with our sugar syrup, so just 50 ml of sugar syrup. And then on to uh, our beautiful super premium gin. So we're making a double shot of this, so 60 ml of this. Nice slow pour here. Pop that in. And then just want to add about six to eight mint leaves in here as well. I like to give them a nice little clap before we pop them in. Just opens up all the nice aromas. And then we're ready to, to shake it up. So grab our large piece of the, the shaker set. Fill it as much as possible with, with uh, fresh ice. Pop the uh, second part into there. Give it a little slap on the bottom. And it's it. All right. As with all cocktails, you want to give it a little uh, try, just to make sure the balance is correct before you pour. Spot on. 
As soon as it's in the glass, it's a customer's drink. You can no longer adjust it. So always best to taste in the tin and adjust accordingly from there. Grab a glass, empty the ice out, give it a little flick to remove all the excess uh, water residue. And then we're ready to fine strain. So we have our regular strainer and then we have our fine strainer here, which just remove all the bits of cucumber, little bits of mint in there as well, just so you don't have anything floating around your drink. There's nothing worse than taking a sip of a beautiful fresh cocktail and having little bits to pick out your teeth later on. And then we grab the garnish we prepared earlier, just rest it on the rim. So the idea with the garnish and drinks is you want it to be as close to customers as possible to open up all the aromas and fragrances from it. So keep it nice and fresh and it complements the drink beautifully that way as well. And that there is an Eastside cocktail, a perfect example of how to use mint uh, and fresh cucumber into a cocktail. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Andy Young and I probably still will be tomorrow. <laughs>